It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. We're at Vivint Smart Home Arena in downtown Salt Lake City. Tonight, it'll be the Utah Jazz taking on the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas begins the game with the basketball. Brunson to Luka Doncic. Brunson to Luka Doncic. Five on the shot clock for the Mavs. Tight space with the crossover. 4-3. Luka Doncic marked man. Shot altered and no good. Conley into the front court. He'll run the offense. Runners good there. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Doncic to Brunson. Rudy Gobert returns last year. The Jazz go on their run. Jay, how reliant is Utah on the Frenchman? I would say pretty heavily considering he's the reigning NBA Defensive Player of the Year. This team has to win it on a defensive end. That is the mentality of the Utah Jazz. Five on the shot clock. Mitchell, message received. Well defended. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Conley. Short jumper off the mark. Dallas has it. Brunson to Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic slams it down. He took it out on the rim that time. Oh, there's no better feeling than after throwing that one down, hanging on the rim a little bit, looking at your opponent beneath you, making him recognize that's where you'll be the entire ball game. To Gobert. Oh, he had it. To Brunson. Hardaway. To Porzingis. Shot clock winding down. Porzingis for two. Can't connect. And that's how you close out on a shooter with a sense of urgency. The shooter was more worried about his landing space than he was the shot. Short jumper misses. To Luka Doncic. Here comes the screen. Brunson to Luka Doncic. Fires the three. No good. That's great defense. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Here comes the screen. Conley to Joe Ingles. Shot clock winding down. Wide open look won't go. Woo, I'm telling you right now, he will not get a better look than that right there the rest of the night. Throws it down off the alley you pass. They'll let one fly from half court. One quarter down. The Mavericks have the lead.
good start to this one. After one quarter play, on to the second period. Jay, neither team was able to get control to start this one. I know you're wondering why I'm clapping. Both teams came out in the first quarter, and they executed. When do you ever see that, Ed? You have to continue to bring those competitive juices into the second quarter, and we're going to have one heck of a ball game. Brunson to Porzingis. KP, Chris stops Porzingis. That's three now on four shots. Well, he finished strong because he was able to initiate the contact. When you initiate the contact first, you bounce off the defender, which balances you at the rim. And abuses the rim with the slam. An easy two. Get back on defense. Number two. To Luka Doncic. Deep two there, won't go. The follow won't go either. Jay, 48 wins for Utah last year. Good for fifth in the West. What's the forecast now? I know Jazz fans may hate me on this one, but they'll be fifth or worst. And the reason why I'm saying this is that every team above them has two superstars or more. Who is going to be that second superstar to go along with Donovan Mitchell is a big-time question for Quinn Snyder. Doncic to Hardaway. Stay coming, stay coming. Brunson to Porzingis. KP, Chris stops Porzingis. Terrific shooting. He's four for five. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Gobert. In the second quarter. The Jazz with four in the shot clock. Going to launch beyond the arc. Now that's a contest. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Colin in the front court. The score, 10 to 8. And that's rebounded by the Mavericks. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Kristaps Porzingis. Conley. They get it down to Gobert. Gets a shot up off the mark. Pick up, pick up, pick up. To Brunson. Doncic. The drive right to the basket. Doesn't have the touch. No good. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Conley to Gobert. Down to five. Down to four to shoot. Mitchell can't get the bounce. Doncic. To Hardaway. Brunson. To Hardaway. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Gobert with the rebound. Late heave to beat the buzzer. That's it for the first half. It's the Mavericks with the lead. Thanks, fellas. Jalen here with your halftime report.
the Jazz, are within striking distance at the half. Offensively, when they're in the paint, they've had success. They need to keep that up if they want to take the lead in this contest. These are the guys getting buckets for the Utah Jazz. Game track. Assists. The chemistry for each squad has been great today, and that explains the high assist total. Coming out of halftime, I'm interested to see what kind of defensive adjustments are made to limit the easy scoring opportunities. Player of the half. Chris Stapps Porzingis is providing all of the evidence needed to show that rebounding starts with positioning. You don't need to be the strongest man on the court to have a chance at a rebound. Of course, it doesn't hurt if you're the strongest man out there. Who was cold? Forget cold. This guy will be happy to be lukewarm at this point. He can't seem to get anything going. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. Jay, we talk about it all the time. The coaches in this league, who best puts their players in a position to shine? And now I give you Quinn Snyder. I remember Quinn Snyder, after an ugly loss to Atlanta last year, really made some changes to their system. And here's the thing I love about Quinn Snyder. He recruited me when I was 15 and 16 years old. He was an assistant coach at Duke. The way he spoke to me really got me to buy in. He taught me that it was about being part of something bigger than yourself. And when you buy into what Quinn Snyder preaches, that's how you end up beating OKC in the first round NBA playoffs. Tim Hardaway Jr., small sample size, but making the most of it. He's one for two. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. To Conley. Gets a look. Can't hit. Bear sends it away. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. To Luka Doncic. Trying to cash in. Not that time. To Conley. To Joe Ingles. Conley. Five to shoot for Utah. Mitchell. Great defense. Forcing the miss. Dallas owns the basketball to Brunson. To Luka Doncic. Dallas with four to shoot. Not going down for him this time. And this guy's going to come out of this game with bruises all over his body like a major heavyweight fight. He took some hard fouls in the first half. That's really deterred him from being aggressive. To Conley. Mitchell shot comes up empty. Doncic to Hardaway. Kicks it around the perimeter. Hardaway to Luka Doncic. Let's it fly from long range, and he knocks it down. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. It's Jazz ball. Surveys the floor. 
Conley. Fine to shoot. Going up. Off the mark. He loves the tough shots, but that one may be too tough. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short, right, right. which made him short arm the shot. To Luka Doncic. KP, Chris stops Porzingis. He's now shooting five for seven. Old school equals high percentage. Mitchell with it up top. The margin standing now at seven. To Gobert. Not that time. A lot of contact. Shots no good and no foul. What happened is he didn't balance himself off the defender. He didn't initiate contact. He allowed the contact to initiate him. We can break that down later in the broadcast, but that's why he missed that easy chip. Third quarter comes to an end. The fourth quarter on the way. The Mavericks have the lead. Dallas with the basketballs. We begin the fourth quarter. They had the lead coming out of halftime. They were able to extend that lead in the third quarter. A lot of fans and players get consumed with the big plays, but the coaches love seeing their teams continuing to do the little things. That's how you increase the lead. Five on the shot clock for the Mavs. And fires the three. Luka Doncic, marked man, shot altered and no good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Chris stops Porzingis. Ah, tips it. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. Three. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Beyond the arc for three. Doncic showing why the Mavs traded up to get him. Well, that change is inevitable. And one of the things that continues to fascinate me about this game, usually when you see a good three-point shooting team, their shoulders are square to the basket. That's no longer the case in today's game. These guys are off balance. They're moving different ways, yet they still have extreme shot-making ability. He scores on the step back. Jay, how did he get free? Oh, he buckled his knees so bad, it didn't matter if he scored or not. That's a win for the internet. Dallas with the possession. Deep left corner. Here comes the screen. Take stock of the floor. Five on the shot clock for the Mavs. To Hardaway. Here's a chance from long range. Off the mark. No good. Across the timeline, it's Conley. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. And the rebound taken in by Dallas. Doncic to Porzingis. He's looking for that touch. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Doncic to Porzingis. Nice pass to set things up. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. You tumble. Conley. Chris stops Porzingis. Rejects it. Just incredible timing on that swap. Count the basket. 
Two more points in the paint. I'd say his game is translating to the league just fine. Conley into the front court. The deficit now up to a dozen. Shot from the lane won't go. long range buries it look that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do that's called a heat check jazz had the ball to conley reset here let's see what they do He's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jay. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. And he connects on the first free throw. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. The victory to the Mavericks as they win this one handily. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Jalen Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Mavericks put their opponents away in a blowout. The scoring display they put on is going to be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Dallas Mavericks. The Jazz seemed to give up on this game as it got more challenging. My advice for these guys is not to watch any TV tonight because it's not going to help them forget about this game. Everyone is going to be talking about this one. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Utah Jazz. Game track. Field goals. As you can see in the highlights, this team did a great job of staying competitive and putting in the necessary effort to get the win. Player of the game. Kristaps Porzingis made it his mission to destroy all kinds of shots. Well, mission accomplished. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. Here are the top plays. Number two. Number one. That does it for us. On behalf of the rest of the crew, good night.